we're both over 40 and a lot of people are shocked when they find out how, how old I am because a lot of people think I'm like uh, in my 20s or early 30s or something like that because they conflate fitness with age. Like if you are healthy, they think you're young. And if you're not healthy, they think you're old. Do you, do you ever run into this, this issue yourself? Uh, you mean, um, you mean when people, when I tell people my age and they're, yes. like they're surprised? Oh yeah. yeah. All the time. All the time. Like when, when people find out I'm 42, they're like, no way, you know, you're kidding me. Get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Some of them curse a little bit and they think <laughs> I'm lying. They're like, show me your ID and stuff like that. I'm like, then they're like, oh, it's cause you're Asian. I'm like, well, maybe that's a small part of it. Like there is a genetic component to it, but I don't believe so. I believe that I just have a baby face. I don't have like a rough and tumble type of face, a square jaw. I don't got a beard. I can't grow one for my life. I try, <laughs> forget about it. So, so I look like a kid to begin with. And on top of that, like I've, I've been working out pretty much my whole life, except for that little, uh, between 20 and 30, I was, I was getting into a lot of trouble. So I, I mm. that kind of fell off. That kind of was on the back burner at that time. But, um, since I was born up until the age of 20, and then after that, from 30 up until now, uh, I've, been, I've been working out, man. I've been working out hard, you know? Yeah. And it's because I enjoy it. So, so I think a lot, of, a lot of it I attribute to, um, you know, staying in shape, being healthy, working out, and, and yeah, that's it. That's, that's, a, that's a big part of it, you know? Yeah, man. Everybody wants a magic pill like... Um... People have accused me of uh, taking performance enhancing drugs, which I think is hilarious because um... I think that would actually age you faster. Yeah, you to... yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? Because essentially you're creating uh, hormone imbalances in, in your body. Like I, I run into a lot of younger guys who, you know, that first of all, they assume every everybody in the professional fight game is on steroids, which is just it's it's just patently absurd. It's, it's not true. Everybody stronger than you is on steroids, is what everybody on the internet seems to say or think. But um, what a lot of people don't seem to realize is that the, the peak levels of human strength are achievable between the ages of 35 and 50 in adult human males. And this is shocking to most people because they are so used to seeing people between the ages of 35 and 50 giving up on life, being physically unfit, having pot bellies, beer guts, whatever you want to call them, and just not participating in the world of physical culture. You know, that's, that's a surprise to me because I thought that, that like, uh, as a male, your, your physical peak is around 35. That was, uh, that was from what I gathered. Uh, but, um, you know, I think that you're, you're much more well-read than I am, right? And you have a lot more yeah. experience in martial arts. So I'm, I'm actually... Happy to hear that. Thirty-five to fifty. So I'm still like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know, like uh, I don't know if you you notice, know but like my whole thing is that I'm going for a world title. I want to become a world champion in judo. Okay. Obviously, in my in my age category, in my division, right? So it's gonna be master. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, fifty, masters ten, whatever. You know, but okay. so does judo have like the same age categories as Brazilian jiu-jitsu, like? Uh... Masters is over 30, then Masters, um, I think uh, 40 to 45 is like Masters 3 and so on. And then Masters 7 is like 50 to 60 or something like that. I think so. I believe so. I'm not sure 100%, but Masters does start at 30 years old. That's And then okay. at 35, I think it's Masters 2. And then after that, I think 40, it's Masters 3. And then, you know, but you could compete like there, there's like, I've seen 80, 90 year olds like on the internet competing in judo. So, I mean, you know, it's, uh, you could compete as long as you want and, and nothing, nothing stops you from like competing, uh, with, with the 20 year olds. Yeah. If, if you and wanted that, to, I know that shocks a lot of people because so many people, especially in the West have not met a healthy 80 year old man before. Like I, I, I told a story on my channel that just raised a lot of eyebrows and People are like, I don't believe it about a time I met a, uh, a master of Tai Chi who was really physically fit. Like the guy could do backflips and he could do all kinds of gymnastic movements and, and hold his leg up over his head doing the splits. And I sparred with him and he actually beat me. 
he he managed to throw me on the ground and catch me with submissions and things like this. And people are like, no way, that's impossible. Because I think what they're imagining is some dude in a nursing home hooked up to an oxygen tank or a, you know, a dialysis machine or something like that. Because they've never met a physically fit older person before. Now, in in China, it's it's a very different world because older people tend to stay active. They, they don't really have nursing homes here. It's it's not a thing. It's not part of the culture, and so old people are always out and about doing something. Generally, in the morning, they're they're doing tai chi or ballroom dance or just going on a walk or some sort of physical exercise. And they do this in the morning. They do it in the evening. And you always see the old people doing this. It's part of their culture, but it's um. It's part of the culture that's been lost on the younger generation. You don't see young kids doing that. Of course, they're they're in school or they're playing video games or whatever. But uh, I imagine the next few generations in China, people are going to be telling these these legends about healthy old people that one, existed once upon a time, <laughs> and people will be like, "No way, no way!" There were old people that could go for a walk in the park by themselves. Impossible. I don't know. But we have some really screwy ideas about about age this idea that we have to essentially become decrepit as as we get older 